Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this one of tutorial on data science tools, we're trying to see a very nice powerful package called PyForest. So what is PyForest? So PyForest is a lazy importer that allows you to be able to import all the necessary packages that you need for your data science work with Python. So in most data science work, you have to just import your EDA packages like pandas and numpy at this format and your visualization packages like matplotlib and seaborn and all, all the NLP packages like SPC and all of these things. But with PyForest, you don't need to be doing this every time you open your Jupyter notebook or your IPython notebook or IPython repo, All right? You don't need to be doing it. So let's see how to work with PyForest. So just first of all, let's install it. So install just going to go with pip install PyForest, then you install it. Now let's see how to work with it. So I have this place which I've not run anything. So I can shut down the kernel, right? Or I can, let's restart the kernel restarts all variables to be lost perfect now with pyforest can just go with import pyforest right this is the first one as you can see so i can just see all the various things that it has to offer to so pyforest then it's going to give us the lazy import which is going to automatically import all of this that we need one host encoder part then it's going to give us all the various stuff so we have all these particular packages that are already installed on my system. So I have uh, Ote, Ote, Bokeh, Dash, Ida, Jensen, Globe, uh, Plotlib, Keras, Matplotlib, NLTK, NP, NumPy, OS. So these are mostly how we name them. So like this, right? We name the pandas as PD. So it is seen here as PD, right? OS, NP for NumPy, NLTK, like that is how we most often name this particular stuff. So it's automatically going to import all of these things for us by just initiating it, right? So the next time I'm going to run it, I don't need to call this pandas.pd, I can just go straight away with df, then pd.read underscore csv, then my iris file, right, iris csv. I did not import it here, see so that this is empty, this is empty here. This is one, this two, this is three. I know important, but now it's able to identify it and work. That is the basic idea about PyForest. It's a very, very nice package. So I can just do whatever I want to do. Then it's going to work. I have not imported Seaborn or Matplotlib or any of them, but I can actually plot. So I can just go with, let's say, Seaborn uh, CNS. It's automatically going to identify that CNS represent Seaborn, right? Just as we can find CNS here. I said CNS, SNS <laughs> here, right? So that is exactly the same thing. So then I can just go with dot heat map df dot correlation. Then we can annotate it at to true. Perfect. So it's basically going to identify that CNS stands for Seaborn then open it and work perfectly for us. So that is a very nice package that we have. Very, very interesting. I've not called NumPy, but I can just go with np dot, let's say an array of, let's say one, one, two, three, four, right? So I'm going to identify that this is what I mean. It's a very, very nice package, very nice. So how do you, know that these are the packages I've imported. These are the packages that I have used, right? So from now, looking at what we have done so far, we have worked with Pandas, we have worked with SNS Seaborn, and we have also worked with NumPy. So if I go back to, to be able to see all the packages that I've actually imported in this Jupyter Notebook, I'll just go with Active, Import, it's going to print all of them for us. So these are the various libraries I've imported. So Pandas, NumPy, Seaborn, and then Pandas Profile because I think it is automatically used by Pandas by default. And then Seaborn. So these are the three or four main packages that I've used. Right. That is a basic idea about, about Python. It's a very, very nice package that allows you to be able to do all these things without necessarily importing these things. I do not run these things, but with just this PyForest, I can have access to all these things with their default names. So thank you for watching this tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, you can just post in the comment section below and please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed.